What up guys, we are at the 2016 Anaheim Fit Expo at the Anaheim Convention Center at the Anaheim Powerlifting Invitational. And this is the meet that I've been training really hard for the past 12 weeks for. And my goal is to hit anywhere between mid 1400s to 1500. All right, Bart has 40 seconds to shoulder the weight and get the official signal to squat. I came here to squat between 490 and 500 today, but because the meet started 10 minutes earlier, it kind of threw everyone off guard. Luckily, I was able to get my first attempt, but because of that, I had to adjust my game plan to the meet because it's not about ego lifting, it's power lifting, and the goal is to PR on your total. So my goal was 440, 470, 490, or 500, but because the meet was so rushed, I had to squat my last warm up, which is 420, and then my open of 440 in under 30 seconds. I hit my 420, immediately everyone's like, Bart, short turn, short turn, and everyone before me had to rush in too, which is why a lot of people missed their first attempts. So as soon as I hit the 440, I was like, oh shit, my, my mind, I don't have the right mindset right now. I'm not moving at the pace that I'd like. I have to adjust to the meet. So I dropped my second attempt for 470 down to 460. And then I smashed it. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'm right on track. But because of that, I don't want to take a giant leap and then risk ruining my deadlift. So when you're powerlifting, it's all about strategy and it's about having a good overall meet. You can't just look at each lift at a time. You have to look at all nine lifts in a macro sense. So because of that, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna check my ego. And my third attempt was 473, which is still a PR, which is great. All of my openers today are gonna be my third attempts for last year. So I know I'm gonna get stronger. I know I'm gonna PR. I just gotta play it safe and not let my ego get the best of me. I smashed 473. I feel well rested. Now I have a lot more in the tank on my back and legs for the deadlift, which is my bread and butter anyways. So for bench, Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen where they tell us they're gonna start at this time and start 10 minutes earlier and if things go well. I should be able to hit anywhere between 370 to 390. We'll see, we'll see what we have today. When you do these meets, a lot of times because the federation has to adhere to the venues rules, there's a lot of things going on. Things aren't gonna happen perfectly, which is why I really like doing meets because it keeps you on your toes and it lets you know you're hitting matches at a world standard and you're hitting numbers in the same exact conditions as everyone else. Previously, if you look at the mock meet, I smashed 485, but that's at my pace. And that's not what everyone else is doing. So to have fair competition, it has to be at the same circumstances for everybody. So, uh... I don't know what keeps happening, but they gave us another false time. So they're like, oh, you know what? There's still one full flight, which is like another 15 lifters before you guys start. So we're like, cool. Everyone kicked back, started chilling. And then when the last flight was finished, they're like, you guys are up next. And we're like, what the fuck? We thought there was another 15 lifters. And good thing Gio and Lou went over and went to go talk to the president. And he was like, hey, we got false information from one of your representatives. And they were able to compromise and give us a little bit more time. But once again, our bench was rushed just a little bit more than I would like because I was still stretching and loosening up my back from the squats. But a meet is a meet and you got to do what you can. Today's goal was to bench 340 for the first, then 370, and then 390. 340 felt really good. I smoked it. Then when I chose 369, I had a slight struggle. So I was like, oh shit, what's going on right here? So instead of taking a 20 pound jump, which is what I had planned, I played it smart and I chose 380 and I was like, 380 I can for sure get. And a uh, good thing I smashed 380. It was still a good fight. <laughs> 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 My 
my back started to give out, but it gave out right after I completed the lift. So I was really happy that I didn't let the ego get in the way because I did hit 391 in the gym, but with like a two second pause, with three referees looking at you, with cameras in your face, there's a lot of other things you have to consider. And once again, it's not at your own pace. You gotta lift according to how the meat is ran. So I hit 380, so far six for six, and the meat is going really well. So my momentum is going in my favor, but the problem is my lower back is feeling kind of tight. So I do want to pull 600, but I also got to be realistic. We'll see how it goes. For sure I can hit 540, which is my opener, but after that I have to make small little adjustments. I don't really mind if I don't squat five, I don't bench four, but I really want to pull 600. That's been a big goal of mine for a long, long time, and that's my forte. So hopefully I can pull six. If not, I'm trying to go for nine for nine, and that's the most important thing today. I came here to pull 600, and I did, except it was three red lights. So technically it didn't count, but it's a huge confidence booster because 600 has been that number that's been in my mind for like the past 12 weeks, and I needed to prove to myself that I can pull it, and I can physically do it next time. I just gotta make sure that I do it under the right meat circumstances. So I started off with a 540 first attempt and it felt really easy. I really felt like deadlift was gonna go my way because my last warm up was 500 in the warm up room and I smoked it. It was so easy. I noticed though that there was a problem as soon as I saw everyone lifting on the stage because the stage was kind of tilting forward. And when I first saw that, I was like, oh shit. But then I was like, hey, you know what? That just means that I have to lean back a little bit, stay a little bit more on my heels and I should get it up. So I pulled 540, I ripped it, and Silent Mike came to come watch me lift. And he noticed that the bar got away from me a little bit, which never happens because I always, always hitch. And it's because that the stage pushed me forward a little bit. So it prevented me from hitching on my first attempt, which is awesome. And in the second attempt, I went for 573 because 540 felt easy. So I stuck to the plan, 33 pounds. I pulled it, I ripped it, but the problem was because the stage was tilted forward a little bit, I locked it out and then my knees kind of gave out a little bit and I immediately pulled it back together. They called me for soft knees or up and down, so that's just a technical call. The right thing to do is to retake the second, but I'm like, fuck that. I came here to pull six, I'm gonna pull six. So I told him to put 600, I went up to the bar, I was amped up, ready, and this time I even moved the bar away from the crack that I saw where it had a huge steep angle, but it wasn't enough because it was still kind of leaning forward a little bit, and I ripped it as hard as I could, and once it got above my knees, I hitched like a motherfucker, and I was like, fuck, for sure, I'm not getting any white lights, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck, I'm not gonna let this motherfucker go. And I just kept pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling, and finally, I pulled it all the way up, when I turned around, I thought I was gonna get at least one white light, just like a, like a sympathy white light, but they were strict today. All three reds, but I'm still hella happy. I came here to pull six, and I know I can do it, so next time, I just gotta clean up my form, and I'll smash it. I'm really happy that I competed at the Anaheim Fit Expo today because the biggest lesson that I learned is to check your ego. Sometimes you have numbers you really, really wanna hit, but because of the circumstances, you're not able to, so you just gotta be able to roll with the punches and not get down on yourself. A lot of the lifters that I see when they get down on themselves, the second attempt sucks and the third attempt sucks and every lift just sucks. I saw a couple of guys bomb out today, but that's not what I came here to do. I came here to have the best meet that I can and I went seven for seven up until the last two and I, I had to YOLO it, so I'm really, really happy. No regrets with this meet. Now it's time for me to finally cut and lose this fat because I don't have a meet to worry about. Thank you to everybody that came out to come watch the meet. Your support means a lot to me. I can hear all of you guys screaming and cheering me on and that's probably what helped me not let go of the 600 and keep pulling. Everyone that I shared the platform with today, everyone's a fucking warrior. It takes a lot to train in the gym and be very, very disciplined week after week after week to finally hone your craft and to be able to shine on a platform. It's not easy. Lifting in the gym is way easier than it is at a meet. And for those of you guys who competed and did your best at the meet today, congrats to all of you guys. Anything to call raw or classic raw or multiply or something like everybody wore, you know, gear it was just accepted back then. And then as the sport evolved and gear started changing, and uh, then you saw a, a 